everybody, it's Kelly, and I have a new Cheeky Studio Process video for you. First though, I'm going to choose some pattern papers, and I have that yellow polka dot paper, which is from Chamel Little by Little. It's a pint-sized uh, fun paper, and I may have bought like a dozen of those. I just like the buttery yellow color of it. Um, and so I'm going to use that to back the photo of my granddaughter there. And I'm using that because there's a little mm, beige yellowy color in her blanket there. Now here's my first Cheeky Studio product. That's that wood veneer. And I will link any Cheeky Studio products that I use that are available in the description. And I think um, almost everything for sure is available. There's one piece that I'm not quite sure because it was part of a kit. Now I am going through, and when I started thinking about this, um, about doing this project, I knew I had this photo, and I just thought these sweet succulents would be great with this photo of her. And those are the um, sweet succulent ephemera pack from Cheeky Studio. So they are succulents, so um, cactus flowers, but they really kind of really just look like a flower if you use them so I um, really love how that how I'm kind of like getting that to work right now with the colors they are soft and pastel -y. and Tuesday does amazing work with any kind of floral that is definitely her jam so then I'm backing all of that on that piece of hard picker paper which is from Echo Park bundle of joy the alphabet antics paper and then I'm going to mount this all on that little white um, embossed dot card stock. It's um, from Basil and it's the salt card stock. I, oh my gosh, it's so cute because it adds just a little bit of pattern in the background, which um, I don't use card stock very often, but when it has a pattern like this, it's pretty easy for me to use it because it almost feels like a, a faux solid pattern paper. Okay, so I'm just playing around to try to get the mix of colors and um, styles right. I want to use, I have that plaid paper, I haven't cut that yet, but I'm looking at that to give me some guidance as well, because obviously it has green in it, as does the plaid, so I want to use some of that. And that plaid paper is... Um, the Bella Boulevard Sweet Baby Girl and it's the Just a Wink paper. It has a darling little moon pattern on the back but you didn't see that because I'm only using the plaid. So I'm just trying to decide here how big I want to make that plaid. Am I going to um, chop it so that there's white on the side? You know, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do there until I kind of use my hand to decide. And I'm still thinking about chopping a little bit more off of there. All right, I'm thinking that's okay. Now, I have looked at this, and I probably could have inked the edges of the paper to make them stand out a little bit more here, but I didn't. I thought about it, but I just decided I wanted this to remain pretty soft and maybe maybe to have blurred edges. Um, you know, when you ink them, they definitely get more defined. And I'm justifying everything to the left there. Just kind of looking straight out at you, but the main part of the subject there is on the right side of the photo. It just feels like there's a line to the left of the photo, so that's why I'm doing it like this. All right, now I'm just playing with my line of... Um, of uh, cactus again here and I'm thinking I, and there's the green one flips and this is where I go searching for it and I thought I thought I cut most of this out but apparently I hadn't um, it flipped and I couldn't find it and what I wanted to do with that green one was to pop it up on a little bit of foam tape adhesive just so that it's not completely straight in the background. So there I am tapping my fingers because I can't find it. And, um, you know, I looked all under my desk, and um, I have a garbage can sitting right there. It was driving me a little crazy, guys. Um, now, I do have that, per I have two purple... Um, 
two purple succulents there. I, I didn't put a third one in. I don't have even colors for everything here, although I suppose I could have. There is a little bit of purple in the background of that plaid, so I thought that was kind of a nice color to add in here. And then because I am planning to put the green one when I find it up on some foam tape, I put this purple one up on some foam tape. So now I'm going to look because I'm afraid I'm not going to find another green one. And I'm just playing around a little bit trying to find a substitute that I think will work if I can't find that because I've looked. Um, my next thing is to go through my entire garbage can, which that sounds like fun, doesn't it? Fortunately, it's really basically but um, basically paper. So that's what I'm doing here again is I'm looking for that piece again. And I still haven't found it. So I'm playing with sort of rearranging things. Do I want to put the green on, you know, pull the green from that end, put it in the middle? And I said, decide, no, I'm going to do it like it's meant to be. And then there is a second ephemera pack that is really more um, like labels. And so I was looking then there just to see if there was anything from there I could use. I do like that um, group of four, but it felt... I don't know, it felt like I was sort of trying to echo what was going on on the bottom, but not very successfully because they're different sizes. Okay, so again, so right now I have that blue one in there as a substitute, and you can see um, I got a phone call and my phone shut off and I forgot about it, so I um, popped that tab up there, which is from American Crafts. Um, the memory planner tabs which is was in the July 2018 kit and now I'm adding those two bows which are from Cheeky Studio they're the bows and then also that flare on the bottom um, right there I thought about another one that flares from the winter flowers um, the Cheeky Studio winter flowers flare and then I grabbed a couple of these sequins so I'm going to put three in each of these clusters, and they kind of lead you diagonally through the page. And those are the sweet succulents uh, sequence from Cheeky Studio. So again, I'll link um, all those available products. The only one that I'm wondering about is the tab. I'm not sure that those kits are available anymore, but everything else should be good. All right, guys, this is after I went through my garbage can, and yay, I actually did find it. It was buried about halfway down. Isn't it crazy how you think that would fall on top? But nope, it did not. So I took the blue one out, added the green one back in again. And I had not glued down that fleur of that bow because I knew I wanted to look for the succulent there. So then I'm just going to add in the... Um, the uh, large glue dot for the bow and one for the flare. I like to put those um, bows down with glue dots because I think they're pretty secure that way. And I'm going to spare you the torture of making you watch me put every one of these sequins down with glue dots. Usually I'll, I'll either put the sequin on the glue dot um, or sometimes like this way I'm putting the glue dot down first. Um, just so I kind of get them in the position I want them to. So I actually used a little combination there. All right, guys, so here's a still shot and a couple of detail shots. Don't forget to use the code KELLY10. If you place your order at Cheeky Studio, you will get 10% off anything you order at any time except for the kits. Hope every you guys are all well, and I'll be back with another layout again soon. Bye. Bye.